I mean, this has been a kind of 10 year decade odyssey for you in terms of getting it to the screen and everything else. Are you now at a point where you're kind of relieved that it's it's finished and that people are now going to get to see it and embrace this story? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there comes a time when you have to let it go. And uh, and this this certainly is it. Um, but it's been has been a phenomenal journey and a really pleasurable one. Um, working very closely with my, my dear friend and, and uh, you know producing partner, Jonathan Cavendish. Um, working with his family, working with uh, all the brilliant cast and crew on it, um, who were all there because of Bill Nicholson's great script. So it, it's uh, it, it feels yeah it feels it feels great to have got to this point. Obviously, you're obviously quite close with Jonathan and his family and producing partners and everything else. Was there any kind of trepidation in jumping into this one for you, given that you were so close to him and kind of bringing that story to the screen? Um, the most trepidation I had was was when I first read it actually and. Um, we had been setting up lots of other projects for the Imaginarium for me to direct, and I, I took it home one night and read it. And obviously, we discussed that so the story, and but but it was the, literally the power of the script that made me. Um, I just thought this is such an amazing story on paper, and I, I, if I were to take this on board, or even talk to Jonathan about taking it on board, how am I? I would hate to to fail with it because it's it was there. A lot of it was on the page, um, so so the big the biggest trepidatious moment was going in and, to, and sitting down and having lunch with Jonathan, saying, "Look, I know we're setting up to do more visual effects based movies, and uh, and that's sort of where my what is in my wheelhouse really, and this is outside of it. But how do you fancy me directing the story about your parents? And and, and that was the that was and then when he said yes, then it was kind of fine because when, when when I knew that he was on board with it, that was a good, that was a good thing. In terms of the, the casting, I mean, I can imagine when you got Andrew and Claire on board, that kind of solved, not an issue, but what, you know, you knew that you had for safe sure. hands with those. I mean, what was yeah. it about those two that made them perfect for these roles? Just because they're both incredibly uh, emotionally truthful actors and that, that would be able to sustain um, you know, the, the, the level of generosity with each other and a real connection with each other. They're both, very, well, Andrew's an incredibly sensitive uh, actor in the sense that he is, you know, very much in tune with with with, 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 with other actors' energies um, to a high degree. And, and Claire is just this brilliantly, openly honest person who, you know, is emotionally so kind of eloquent and... Um, and, but is also no nonsense, and so so the, the combination of them and for, to play those parts just seemed perfect. And and we we didn't know, I'll, you know, obviously it was a, it was a gamble, but but the the chemistry is extraordinary between them, and um, it, it was everything that we we could have hoped from that. I know this is based on a true story, but one thing that struck me was there was a great lightness of touch and humour to the story. I mean, was that important to kind of have both of those things as part of the story? Absolutely, um, and it was core to the to the tone of the film and core to the tone of Robin and Diana's relationship because that that sort of gallows humour slash stoicism, uh, button down emotion, but uh, you know always seeing the funnier side, even in the most direst circumstance, uh, really. Is, is reflected throughout the whole fabric of the film, from the choice of music to to the colour to the palette to the design of costumes to you know every every single choice really reflects their their vibrant and witty approach to to life. I just quickly I was asking about Star Wars. I know you're not gonna. I've tried this before. You're not gonna tell me anything. <laughs> but I know Rian has said that, and a lot of the actors have said how kind of unexpected the script was. I mean, for you when you read it, not that you're gonna tell me anything, but was it as unexpected as everyone else has kind of said it was? Yeah, no, truly. I mean, it really, it was it was not a direction I expected the story to go in. And uh, yeah, I think I think you'll you'll certainly find out why when you when you see it. Yeah, you're nearly there now, so you can talk about it. In a couple oh months. no! <laughs> <laughs> exciting. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys! Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey! hey.